good morning. Welcome to Morning Markets on Monday the 16th of March. Um, we saw the US market on Friday close higher, although that was very much into the end of the day where it did rally. And what we've seen today is that European markets have opened lower and indications are that the US will open lower as well. A couple of points that we've been discussing around that this morning, and one is the material change in Federal Reserve policy over the weekend, where they reduced interest rates by 100 basis points, or 1%, taking their range from 0 to 0.25%. Additionally, um, they will restart their quantitative easing program, which will see quite material purchases of both US Treasuries and mortgage-backed securities, things that are important to increasing the liquidity in the financial system. In addition to that, we saw a communication from the leading central banks um, across the world um, focusing on the provision of US dollar liquidity into the marketplace. Again, an important um, announcement taken together. Both of those are supporting liquidity. Liquidity is at the heart of the financial system and the central banks are viewing the, the need to take action in that regard and they're taking very significant action. So that's very supportive of the situation from a, a financial market perspective. I think what it will continue and what we will continue to see in markets is ongoing volatility, very much like we saw with the positive move on Friday and then the weaker move today. Why is that? Well, the impact of the coronavirus remains uncertain, remains unknown. And um, the impact of that on economic growth is what um, market participants are trying to price. That's exceptionally difficult at this point in time. We've all seen the newspapers and the television over the weekend where various different countries are adopting different policies. Each of those policies will have a negative impact on economic growth. I think the other thing that, that we're discussing today and noticing is just the impact um, of the coronavirus on China. Um, we've had some data out of China today and just really illustrating the, the weakness there where we saw industrial production for January and February fall 13% year on year. I think the other side of that, we are seeing that China and parts of Asia are coming through the other side of the coronavirus where we're actually seeing um, infections reduce, which is, is a positive for economic activity in those regions. And just in conclusion, one of the things that we, we have touched upon is the need for more coordinated fiscal response from um, governments. We've started to see some of that. Um, I've touched on what we saw from the UK last week and a number of other countries. And in a very interesting development on Friday, we saw the German finance minister suggesting that Germany was willing to engage in, in more fiscal measures. That's, that's crucial and that may signal some form of increased coordination between the, the, the Eurozone member countries, which would be very welcome indeed. We do have um, two, two meetings that are worth noting today. We have the G7 um, countries coming together for a conference call, and then we've got the European finance ministers coming together, which may focus on the fiscal measures that will be required to support economies in this, this challenging time. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.